Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we are doing a closet organization in downstairs for our coat closet. So I'm gonna share with you guys what it looks like and then we're gonna pull everything out. As y'all can see, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna pull all of this out and get it all sorted through. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna organize everything, make it functional so that our winter season is just easy to go. If you're new here, my name's Ava. I'm a wife and mom to three little girls and having a functional space, especially near the doorway, is super, super important for me. So that's what we're gonna create today. It's just a very functional space um, where the girls can come in and put their coats up and I can come in and put my coats up. And then I'm gonna show you some other organization that you can do in your closet as well, just to keep everything organized and just easy to get to. So if you enjoy videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. And we're gonna go ahead and get started in today's video. I am super excited about today's video because one, we are organizing and decluttering this closet. Two, we're making a fun, yummy dessert. Three, we have a giveaway coming up. And four, you are getting double motivation today. Today's video is in collaboration with my great friend, Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. She creates videos all around organization, motivation, cleaning, and so much more. She loves to bake and you're absolutely gonna love her channel. Today, she's doing the same thing, decluttering her closet, so I will have her channel in today's video listed in the description box below. Be sure to check her out after you watch today's video. If you're coming over from Sophie's channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name's Ava and I create videos all around cleaning motivation, organization, lots of decor, and so much more. And I would love if you join my YouTube family. All right, so here's all the clutter that came out of that closet, the jackets, baby bags, shoes, um, everything you name it that was in there. And so now I'm getting ready to get everything organized and put back into the closet that we're gonna use, get this door wiped down as well. And I'm also gonna put the organization on the door. Everything that I'm going to be using in today's organization and mostly everything I got from Home Goods, um, and then some I got off of Amazon. So I'll have everything linked in the description box below. So wanna take a moment and talk about giving back. Times have been very, very hard on families, especially this year. And Sophie and I have came together and we decided that we would like to bless two special families with a winter coat. It could be for you, someone that you know, a child, or anyone that you know of in need. All you need to do is subscribe to both of our channels and leave a comment down below letting us know that you want to be entered into the giveaway. And then on next Saturday, we're going to be announcing the winners over on our YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. But just leave a comment down below and we will definitely contact you next Saturday to get your size and have those jackets sent to you directly from Amazon. We are so excited about this giveaway. We hope that you are excited as well and we hope that it can bless you, your family, or someone that you know in need. Now that everything is removed out of the closet, I'm using some command strips along with these wall basket organizers. And y'all, I love these. They were so convenient. They made such a huge difference for school mornings. So I will let you guys watch as I get this closet organized. Every minute of every day Couldn't sleep even if I wanted to Need to cherish every moment left with you
picked up these little bags from Walmart. They were a very good price and they are just a safe way to protect fabrics from moisture, odors, and moss, things like that. They're ready to use. You just hang them in your closet. You can use them in garment bags, storage closets, and I love these. Break my heart. Okay guys, so we are all done um, and I cannot tell you how good this feels. So we have scarves up here, hats up there, the coats right here and then at the bottom I'm gonna put the shoes and then over here, this is probably my favorite because it's so needed. Um, hand sanitizer, so when the girls come in for the day, they can quickly grab some hand sanitizer. This is the spray kind. I picked it up from Home Goods, and then the disposable mask. These are for kids, and I got these off of Amazon. Then I have a place to put my purse, and I really like this um, command strip. I haven't tried these before. That's my first time, so I think I will definitely get some more for the rest of the house, and it looks really good, too. I like the black. All right, so now we are finished with all the organizing and I am ready for a sweet treat. So we are going to make a pumpkin gooey butter cake dessert. And I got this recipe off of Food Network. They have some really easy, good recipes. I will have this recipe listed in the description box below. And y'all know me, I love to cook. I love those homemade, good, savory dishes, but I'm also getting into a lot of baking and I'm gonna be sharing a lot of that over this holiday season. So be sure that you stay tuned for all of the goodies but let's get into it. Let's get to baking. So we are starting out with my pumpkin dish. You guys have seen this before in my last cook with me. And we're gonna start out with a 15 ounce box of spice cake. You can use any spice cake of your choice, along with two eggs, one and a half sticks of unsalted butter melted, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna mix that all together and then we're going to pour it over in our dish. So this part is our crust, and now we're going to make our filling. For the filling, we are going to use one eight ounce package of cream cheese. You want this to be at room temperature. Mine was not, but that's okay, we've moved on. And then we're going to use three large eggs along with one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And I tell you, this is getting gone so fast. So if you wanna make this dessert or any pumpkin dessert, you probably wanna grab some. Um, we also use one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. You can use any kind of your choice. I love the kind from Trader Joe's, it's really good. Then we use three and a half cups of confectioner sugar, so this was sweet, <laughs> along with um, some whipped cream at the end, and of course the butter that you see adding in there as well and this was really really good that was four tablespoons of unsalted butter and then this is the final product and when i tell you guys this dessert was so good my husband is not a huge fan of pumpkin really anything but now this year i've turned him on to pumpkin everything
All right, friends, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and don't forget to enter the giveaway. I have all of my Halloween decor videos coming out next week and I don't want you guys to miss out on that upload. If you're coming over from Sophie's channel, be sure to subscribe before you go. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, as always, thank you for coming back to another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.